Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. We're at Interop 2011 in New York. On our program is Rob Zecca, the VP of Operations at Altior. Rob, how are you? Very good. Thank you for having me. Well, um, we're thrilled to have you. And I was hoping to start out by uh, asking you about your company. What does what your company do and what's your role in the company? Okay, so Altior is a venture-backed technology company which integrates software and hardware platforms for acceleration offload into the uh, networking and storage market space. We are headquartered in New Jersey where most of our R&D sits. We also have a small design facility out in Austin and our marketing sales are out in California. We are invested by 2M which is run by uh, Mort Meyerson and we have a chairman, his name is Adam Drobot. Adam was the ex-president of Telcordia, and our daily operations are run by a gentleman named Ramana Jampala, who has a history in engineering technology as well as uh, investing in technology companies. Myself, as with all startup companies, you wear many hats. So I wear a lot of hats in terms of uh, engineering operations as well as some marketing and sales at the company. Now in terms of your product portfolio and your target markets, can you elaborate a little bit please? So from a product portfolio, we kind of go up the value chain with our products. So let me start with the IP cores. So we sell IP cores to companies who are interested in doing certain types of transformations and most of that would go inside their ASICs or FPGAs. So we would sell IP cores directly into these companies. Our IP core portfolio today consists of compression, encryption, uh, AES, XTS, as well as AES, CVC. And in our hashing cores, we also have MD5 as well as SHA-1 and SHA-2. Coming in Q4 of this year, we're focusing on networking cores where you'll see a 10 gig packet parser as well as a 10 gig toe. So as um companies are looking to do things like deep packet inspection and things like that, they, they come to you for assistance so companies potentially? companies that are interested in deep packet inspection would start looking at our packet parsing technology as well as our TP, TCP stack in the uh, 10 gig toe that we would have. So in terms of the value proposition your company provides compared to others, uh, can you elaborate? Well, let me just back up a second sure. because I was giving you the first stage up the value chain. Sure. Uh, the second thing we do provide is hardware acceleration offload cards, which is an FPGA-based card that sits in a PCIe bus. That allows us, since it's a programmable device, to take these cores and mix and match them. So if a company wants to do acceleration offload for compression or encryption or do a multi-transform, we're, we're able to take those cores and incorporate them in our offload card. Uh, going up a little further up the value chain, we now take these cores as well as the card and we add software around it to come up with complete solutions. So two examples of that would be an encryption file system where we take our encryption core, our uh, Ultraflex card, and add key management to it in a Windows environment to have an encryption file system solution. We also have a compression decompression file system and that takes our compression cores as well as our Ultraflex card and what we do is add our own Altior file system on top of a native Linux file system. So it's really a seamless integration where either a server manufacturer or an appliance manufacturer can take this seamlessly integrated into their Linux environment and do one of two things, either increase the amount of disk usage that they have with the current disk space because we compress or reduce the number of disks necessary. Now, um, so that's a pretty broad product line. Yes, we do. We have a very broad product line up the food chain. So I'll go back to my prior question in yes. terms of the value proposition. How do you um, differentiate and uh, why would customers choose your products? Okay, so from the value proposition, again, the value changes depending on, on the different products that I just mentioned. And I'll give you an indication for each of those. So in our IP cores, as an example, our compression core operates both in context-switched as well as non-context-switched. 
The context switch, I believe, from what I know today in the market space, is the only IP core out there supplied by Altior. You cannot get a context switch core from, I believe, any other vendor. That allows you to do compression in a stateful manner. So we handle up to a couple of hundred thousand streams. And it's really useful in a network environment because it allows the networking appliance vendors to get better compression ratios. As we go up the food chain again in terms of our Ultraflex card level product, I'll give you a real life customer example of where we add value. Uh, without naming company names, I'll, I'll keep that private. We are working with one of the top five WAN op companies in the US. And that particular company was looking to improve their compression performance, as well as try to reduce some of their CPU core utilization and capacity because they were pretty maxed out. So using our Ultraflex card with our compression core, it allowed them to more than double their compression performance and throughput, at the same time reduce their core utilization by 33%. Wow. So by reducing that core utilization, it allows you to do one of two things. You can either save on the power and the cost of a core, or it allows the customer to add more value with software for their market space. Right. Again, now moving up the value chain, looking at our solutions. I'll give you an example of the value add, and I had mentioned it previously in terms of our CDFS, or compression decompression file system. The compression decompression file system seamlessly integrates. It really does not take much effort for a company to take this and put it either into a server or an appliance. And some of these servers and appliances contain very large amounts of disk space. They can have up to a dozen, maybe 20 spindles, and maybe 80 to 100 disks. And if you can get a seamless integration of potentially a three to one compression ratio, you're really reducing the amount of disk space needed or increasing the space on what's already present. And at the same time, if you can reduce the number of spindles, you have a better quality product. Absolutely. Yeah. So what's next for the product roadmap? So as you get a feel for some of our cores that we have today and what we're developing, you can kind of draw a dotted line, uh, both in the storage space as well as the networking space. First, focusing on the storage space, so our CDF, CDFS technology is really gaining a lot of interest in the market right now. We're getting a lot of companies asking about it, and it makes a lot of sense for us to create products off of that and add more value to it. So we're looking for things in the primary, but more importantly, the secondary storage dedupe market space, which is based off our CDFS technology. On the networking side, we have a lot of core technology, compression and encryption, and as well as the 10 gig packet parser we'll have this quarter, and the 10 gig tow. It's kind of a natural evolution to take this technology and go towards sort of an intelligent application aware data plane. Wow. So if we take that data plane, there's a lot of different applications we can look at. Some in the server acceleration market space, and also others in the video distribution, both in wireless as well as wired technology. So we're kind of looking at a multi-pronged approach on that. Thank you so much for being on the program. This was great. I appreciate being here.